What's up, y'all? Dan with Uh Today, I'm joined by my boy, Fabio. Fabio is a customer at Elevated Mentor Program. Fabio, how you doing today? What's good, man. How you doing, Daniel? Good, good. So I wanted to bring Fabio on. He was a little resistant, um, a little camera shy at first. But uh, thankfully, and I really do appreciate you hopping on this, um, he wanted to kind of share his story a little bit of how he got into the Elevated Mentorship Program, his experience so far, um, and also just kind of share a little bit of his journey as a barber. So for those that don't know you, Fabio, uh, you can go ahead and give us a quick background of maybe who you are, how you started getting cutting hair, and all the way leading up to maybe how we met. Okay, what's up, man? My name is Fabio. AKA Cutty Fresh. I'm from Vegas. Started cutting just like any other barber man when I was a kid through high school. Started cutting friends, my brother. Um, went into probably like my my early twenties. Um, didn't really take it seriously. I had a I guess a so called real job. I had a children early, like seventeen, so I needed some stability. So I always kept barbering like as a side hustle, side business. Um went about probably like six, seven years after high school until I really started seeing some type of income coming in. So I was like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to do this like for real. So got my license 2013 or so, uh, started at the Dominican shop part-time. The dude would let me come in after work. Sometimes I have time to change. I'd be in my suit cutting hair till like 11 o'clock at night. Same grind, you know, just trying to make as much money as I could. Um, did that for like two years and finally like, some shit happened in my life where I had to I had to choose up like, you know I had I had that it had to happen for me to be like all right this is what I got to do so 2015 I, I went full time, um, I worked there for like probably like a cool year and a half full time and then I'm here now, so I've been barbering full time since uh, 2015. Got it, cool. And then I guess like um, cause we met where are we in we're in October right now. When did we meet? Was it June or July of this year? It was, I hit you up in like real end of July. I think I started in June, like June 1st. Got it. Okay. 4th or something like that. Got it. Got it. And then did you just come in from an ad? Cause I, I we've never known each other prior. I think you, cause you're. No, man. I, I saw you on Instagram like a long time ago. Okay. And I, you know, at, at the time, at the time when I was doing Instagram is like, I saw a lot of gimmicky shit. I saw a lot of things I didn't like. So I kind of got off of it. So the way I saw it was it was a YouTube ad. I was actually um, I was doing a gig for a client in Arizona, and I had like a month there, and it was like quarantine style. So I I was just working on the next big thing, you know. Like I literally almost like I, I was looking for a career change. Really, hmm. saw the ad, I clicked on it, I watched a forty five minute video. Um, I filled out the application, I listened to all the podcasts. I actually looked up all the people that you. Um, that you were mentoring like their pages the 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 momentum they 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 got like from from overnight it seemed like right so that's that's kind of how i got it in like youtube but i had seen you on instagram <clears throat> social media like probably like a year or two before that got it okay and i know like we were talking prior to like you were not really taking barbering as seriously like as a career path or like taking it full in uh, i guess like for you what made you was, was what made you like kind of mentally switch like okay I'm gonna go in this direction kind of invest in this program or go in, um, not like you know okay Barbie's just the the you know side hustle pays the bills and go do something else what was that like shift for you well that it was like a time in my life too like a few months ago where I was like okay what, what am I gonna do next so mm-hmm. I already knew like from past investments like you know it's it's like delayed gratification right so it's something you put in now and then see the result later. So I was like, if I if I can invest, you know, a decent amount of money in these other things and see, you know, see some growth, then why can't I do it for barbering? Something that I know, like the back of my hand, right? So I kind of, that was like a mental switch because I didn't want to do barbering, but at the same time, I knew I hadn't maxed it out yet. Hmm. So I wanted to max it out. I'm like, if I'm going to invest in something, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be this. If it doesn't work, then fuck, I'm really out, you know. So that's kind of that's kind of where it, it came from. Like, it, it was it was like okay, um, I was trying to find a mentor at the time for like other things, right? Mm. And I never had really seen um, someone like something dedicated to to barbering. So someone successful in the actual industry of barbering that wasn't about uh, product sales or because I don't like gimmicky shit. I don't like things that you gotta. Um, recreate and recreate to, to make money so 
it was more of like honing my craft and actually growing my business. So that's kind of what like triggered my, my buying decision. Got it. I guess for you too, like what, what was like that mental process of like, why did you not think that you could do something with barbering? Was it more of just like, you know, people you were around, like other barbers that you saw, like there were OGs that never took their business to the max level. Like what kind of like yeah, well, brought that framework in? Well, me, myself, I'm an OG like at heart, right? Okay. So like, it's like, it was just, it was just another hustle to pay the bills. So, and the reason why is because I saw more success on other investments or ventures that, that I was doing at the time. So I was like, well, I'm going to bust my ass here for, you know, 60, 80 hours a week. You make decent money, but I'm like, I'm broke and I'm shot at the end of the day. So it, it was like just the old school way of thinking. Um, basically, what I was doing is like um, get booked, raise prices, get slow, post post content get busy again, Mm -hmm. get booked, raise prices again. And so the same old cycle. So I could tell you all my price raises from when I started cutting at my mom's house, you Mm -hmm. know, and and it's been the same old thing. And I didn't want that anymore. Like, I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter how much you charge. Like you're still going to be like busy and just like, like done at the end of the day. So that's kind of where my mentality was as far as barbering. It was like, it's the same old redundant shit. Like you just burn at the end of the day, like mentally drained from all the clients, like, the energy, some bad energy they put out, some, some, you like, you soak all that in. Yeah. And me having children, you know, I mean, my oldest is, is, is probably older than when I started cutting hair now. So mm. it's like, you know, like I wanted to shift my, my life and my time to more time with my family as much as I could possibly give them, you know? So, but that's where the mentality came from. It was like, I was like, this is just a grind to pay the bills got know, it. for something like a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And then you, that, that like kind of got you, I think you were charging like what, 40 when we first met, correct? Yeah, it was, it was 50. It was 50. 50. Okay. So you went from 50 and then now October was that July, August, September, October, like four months. And now we're up to, you're at a hundred at right this moment in time, correct? Yeah, I'm at a hundred. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess like, man, this would be a good question too. Like, did you think it would happen like that quickly for yourself or even like in that past, like overall sense with, of the i guess og barber mentality did you did you were you so stuck in like the six to 12 month raises five ten bucks instead of like thinking you could get something as so, exponential i mean i knew i knew i could do it like when, once i committed i was already mentally ready for whatever came with it right so i didn't know it would happen that quick though mm. that, that's the only thing because i mean in reality you could walk into the barber shop and say i charge 200 bucks today right mm. but Without without the proper like structure, like it's it's not gonna it's, it's gonna fail. So it took me shit roughly six years, bro, to from twenty dollars to fifty dollars, right? Like that's a long ass time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it took me four and a half months for, to double my prices, just just because I'm locked in a focus. So the answer to your question, like you know, of course I was doubting the impossible, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like everybody's going to leave, but you know, the program structure in such a great way that it's like, it's almost like it's not going to let you fail. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As long as you put in the work. Yeah. But yeah, like I had doubts for sure. Yeah. I think, I think it's also just cause like, man, I mean, <clears throat> cause like what, like what I try to like introduce at least to you guys is like, look, don't worry about getting booked out. Don't worry about like getting this whole full out schedule and raising up that, that can work. Like you said, it takes a long time. It's inefficient. But it's more about the business health. Like, okay, cool. What are the KPIs that like let us know business healthy? We can go up and kind of like we put our focus on that instead of like, I don't know, just like over hustling. I mean, I know you were probably like doing after hours. I just remember on our first call, dude, I just remember you were like so tired. Honestly, like even even like when we we're talking, I'm like, man, this guy's like burnt out, tired. I'm like, I don't know how he's going to do. But like, hopefully like he, he like I had confidence. I mean, you, you had skills, right? Like um, you were OG, like you had skills as a barber. I knew you were like. Man, just turn. I think you were doing thirty minute haircuts too, weren't you at the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, it took me a little while to adjust to like just shooting a video. You yeah, know, like that was just one of the main reasons why, like, I didn't enjoy like Instagram because I'm like, fuck, I gotta shoot everything. You know, it was it just little things, little basic things that my original barber mentality didn't really have the capacity to understand, like. Why, like I'm not a videographer. I'm not a, a yeah. cameraman. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I just want to cut hair. So that, that's kind of where it was. Like, so yeah, you're right, man. I was I was burnt out. I was um, despite everything that personally was going on in my life and still is. It's like 
the mental switch was like it took me like a cool week to really like understand like where I was coming from, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And where I'm going in a way it was like, shit, just like everything in my life. I'm like, why didn't I do this shit sooner? You know what I'm saying? Got it. I was going to say also too, like what, what did you feel like the the program helped you out most uh, either business wise, personal wise, or just work ethic wise, or even just, you know, overall, like what, what did you found, find that was like most helpful to you? Um, just the accountability, man. Just you checking up on me. Um, you like, I like another, another influence, like just a man that's done it already. That's been successful. Um, not even breathing down my neck, just like making sure that I'm on the right track, the problem solution, just the structure, um, the tracking, you know, sometimes I would see a pattern in my business where I'm like, Oh shit, this is good. I'd try to reverse engineer, try to dissect it. And I wouldn't have a clear picture of why mm. and the program it, it kind of lays everything out so like you know you could you could pick and choose what what's going on in your business um you're not just throwing shit at the wall see what sticks like it's really it's really set up for the barber that wants to have a successful business like whether it's in five months or six months or a year like the more you learn the, the better you're honing your skills like and the better the healthier your business becomes so that's that's kind of what helped me like Number one was the accountability. You know, like, I'm a grown-ass man. Like, the reason why most barbers get into this is to do what they want as they please, you know, to, to work the hours they want, to not have anybody telling them how to run their business. But in reality, um, there has to be checks and balances, and that's what pretty much the program is all about. And it's all about barbering. It's not, it's not about, you know, fucking investing in real estate or just yeah. other things that, that you could do after. It's like solely based on barbering yeah it's like get your money up first like let's get this damn thing up and running like full force like you know get your time back not make it so much of like a dude like i mean i'm sure you've seen the ad where it's like wake up cut hair go to sleep wake up cut hair go to sleep it's like look like build long term wise don't think so short term don't think so like man let me see how many more haircuts i can squeeze in because that that thing is like a it's a fucking death trap in my opinion um i never wanted to do that and i also i think i did it for a little bit but i hated it um I guess for you, dude, like, man, what, what would be like the one piece of advice? Like, let's say somebody in your position before we met, what, what would be the one piece of advice you would give to them? I would say <clears throat> commit to yourself and do something for yourself. Um, stop wasting time. Um, we're, we're running out of time, every one of us right now. Um, like, pick your nuts up and do something like right now that's going to that's gonna take you like beyond barbering like in the future like for me like it's not really about it's weird to say like it's not about like the money it's about what, where i'm gonna be in five years and the time i'm gonna have but it, it creates so many opportunities like actually getting a hold of your business so i would say like like if you're going if you're gonna do this shit like you have to commit first to yourself that you're gonna do it um not not to impress anybody else or get validation from anybody else like like you have to do something for yourself like one time, you know what I'm saying? Like in your life and you might as well dedicate, you could dedicate six months a year to this shit and you'll learn a lot in like as little as two months. Yeah. So that, that's what I would say. Just, just, you know, just, just believe in, believe in, in, in yourself and like stop doubting like the impossible shit. Absolutely. Any plans for the future? Like, um, I know you're at a hundred right now. Any plans of like maybe what the next 12 months you're going to be doing your business wise? Uh, to be honest, the next 12 months, man, I'm going to, so I started June, I think June 1st, I got the program, June 6th, I started posting. Mm-hmm. So I want to do a whole entire year dedicated to this shit to see um, how far I've grown. You know, like I have three-year plans, five-year plans, but, but this one, I'm, I want to dedicate a whole entire year to this to see how much I grow. Like, And the yeah, it's about the, the price increases and things like that, like that's that's included in, in the program. But um, I just want to see how far I can take it like personally for a whole entire year. Mm-hmm. So after that, maybe after six months, you could ask me what, what I'm going to do again. But yeah. like for now, like that, that's what I want to dedicate my time to. Like, I think I deserve it. My family deserves it. Like, you know, just my business in general, like, it deserves like to be tended to like that right now. Absolutely, dude. I don't want to take up too much of your time, Fabio, but I appreciate you again too for hopping on this interview uh, and kind of giving your your two cents on like just your experience overall. Any last words that you want to uh, send us off with? All right, brother. I appreciate you, man. All right, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.